Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Angela Brennan and today I'm bringing you a video where I show you how you can create any sentiments you want. Customize your sentiments in any way. Today I'm doing some Christmas cards with a humor theme. It's for the Christmas Craft Creations Challenge. You can find all the information in my blog and the link to my blog is in the description below. How do I do this? I print whatever sentiment I want with my laser printer and then I use my laminator and deco foil to foil the sentiment so it looks really pretty and shiny. Now if you don't have foiling machine you can just print your sentiments in any machine and just leave it the color that you printed or in black and just in black and white and that's fine as well but I like foiling. So I use my laser printer, print the sentiments that I want and deco foil it with different colors. Now you can have multiple colors of deco foil on the card front of one card um, but I tend to use the same color because the deco foil is so shiny and gives so much to the card I don't want to make it too many colors and make it look a bit too gaudy but in some instances that could look really pretty. The foil is very very thin and sometimes a little bit hard to cut. I use the Spellbinders Quick Trimmer to make sure I cut the exact size of foil that I need. So there's no wastage and I only cut one. So you need to be really careful you don't take two foils at the same time. They're so thin you may not realize it. So separate your foils, put it onto the Quick Trimmer and use the blade that comes with it. It's, make sure you use the one that's for the foil because it comes with two blades, one for paper and one for foil. I use that and I cut it exactly what I need. So I make about 10 or 11 Christmas cards here. I'm going to be so prepared for all my Christmas cards this year. So much in advance. Thanks to Christmas Card Creations Challenge. Um, so I enjoy making Christmas cards with a little bit of humor in it. And I must say a lot of this uh, sentiments or phrases or so, uh, the humorous part of these uh, sentiments, I got it off the net. It's not from me. But I kind of made it my own by changing up this. The, the layout as well as the font etc and certainly by foiling it I think it adds some extra shine and glitter that it commensurates with the, uh, the celebration of Christmas. I place the foil shiny side up onto the printed phrase on the card then I use a carrier sheet it's a thin copy of paper I put the card and the deco foil in the carrier sheet and I put it through the laminator. Make sure your laminator is ready and it's hot and the ready light is on. Now this is a relatively inexpensive laminator that I got off Amazon and I started using it just last week and I put it in at least three or four times. You depends on your laminator how hot it gets. Put it in a few times. Do not give up after putting it one or two times through. Put it in a few times. There are some instances in different foils, different results you get. So please try and be patient with it. Sometimes I have put in some foil up to six times before I get the results I want. So do put it in a few times and do be patient and you will get the results you want. But you must make sure you print your phrase or your sentiment on laser printer. It's when the toner of the laser printer gets heated up, it's when the foil will stick to it and give you the results that you want. I do not show how I embellish all the cards, but I really enjoy going through my craft stash and seeing whatever stems and dies that I have to embellish the cards, and it was fun. And it took a little while. It took me over a week with all the other things I needed to do to get on with my daily life. So I interspersed it with all this crafting by cra uh, embellishing each of the cards. Now, you don't have to make 11 cards, but I ended up making 11 cards because I enjoyed the theme so much that I thought it would be good to share this. And you don't have to use it just for Christmas cards with humor. You can use it for anything. If you don't have a, a sentiment for a, for a communion or for a baptism or for a christening, you can just create your own sentiments and then just... Do this printed on laser printer. If you don't have a laser printer, there are stationery shops that provide the service where you can take it in and get them to print it or even send it online. PDF your document, send it online, tell them what kind of um, card you want it printed on, whether the thickness or the color, and you can get them to send it to you. So there's the services out there. You just need to plan in advance because it'll take a few days before you can get it back. 
So I hope you really enjoy the video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And when you do subscribe, remember to press that notification bell so you're alerted when a new video is uploaded. I'm going to leave you with some music now and I'll catch you later. Here are the completed cards. I enjoyed embellishing them and finishing them off with all the dies that I had as well as the stamps. I do enjoy using a lot of the dies, especially from Spellbinders. I know some of people think they're very intricate and very fin finicky to put together, but I do enjoy the paper piecing process, die cutting them and putting them together. I think the, the finish is really, really pretty in the end. If you want to see the full cards and read the sentiments, etc., do head over to my blog. The, the link to my blog is in the description below where you can look at the cards and the sentiments at your leisure. And all the products that I've used to, com to complete the cards are listed in my blog as well. Really hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to give this a try, do give it a try. And do drop me a line at either my comments on YouTube or in my blog to let me know how it went. I would love to see your cards as well. Take care, happy crafting, and I'll catch you in my next video.